Hello, how you doing? It's Mr. Do The Math here, and today we are going to talk about state taxes, right? Now, in the state of Illinois, as opposed to um, federal taxes, state taxes is like one flat tax rate, right? Federal taxes is all based on um, how much you make, right? So here's perspective for you. If, if you live in the state of Illinois, and this is something that we just, we just voted on, like keeping, but if you, work in, if you work in the state of Illinois and you make $50,000, I make $80,000, and somebody makes $12,000, we all will pay the same tax rate for our state taxes. Right. And so like the interesting thing about it, I won't say messed up thing, but the interesting thing about um, working in the United States of America is you have to pay taxes um, based on what, what state you live in, unless you're in a non tax state. But based on what's for most of most most cases, you got to pay taxes for the state that you live in and federal taxes for the country. Right. Today, we're going to look at state taxes. But this and this is all in prep. This is all an example. This is not all technical terms. Um, these are not technical tax rates or anything like that. This is just an example to give you um, uh, an understanding of the way it works. Okay, so say for instance, I make uh, my gross income is fifty four. Is that a good marker? Fifty four thousand. <clears throat> I make fifty four thousand six hundred twenty five dollars a year, right? Um, now that's my gross income. That's prior to taxes, before taxes. Um, in in state taxes, you get a deduction based on. There's a deduction for your marital status. There's a deduction for your number of dependents. Right? These are all examples. These are not technical terms. All right. So, gross income fifty four thousand six hundred twenty five. Um, married. Right. And there is two kids. Right. There's two kids involved. Right. So with that being said, there is a personal exemption for being married. Right. For being married, there is a thirty five hundred dollar personal exemption and there is a nine hundred dollar uh, personal exemption per kid. Right. In, uh, uh, in in this example here. All right. So to figure out your taxable, um, your taxable earnings. Right. Or your taxable income. You would subtract these deductions from this fifty-four thousand, right? So um, it'll be fifty-four thousand six hundred twenty-five minus um, thirty-five hundred for being married, plus eighteen hundred because we got two kids. Eighteen hundred because we got two kids, right? Nine times two, nine times yeah, yeah, eighteen hundred, right? Then we'll do the math. So we'll subtract this amount from the fifty-four thousand. And um, we'll end up with well, let's just let's go. So you add these together, it's fifty three thousand, right? So it's fifty four thousand six hundred twenty five, um, and you subtract those two, and you get um, forty nine three hundred twenty five. Forty nine thousand three hundred twenty five. That's your taxable. That's your taxable income in the state, right? We good so far? All good. So. We, these are exemptions. We deducted it. Taxable amount, right? Now, in this particular state for this example, we'll call this um, math, uh, math, 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 noise, math, noise. In the state of math, noise, um, the state tax rate is 3.7%. <laughs> so it's 3.7% um, in math, noise. Um, and so basically what will happen is to figure out what, uh, what's the tax that you're going to have to pay or that's, yeah, the taxes you're going to have to pay, you'll multiply the, uh, this is the tax rate. This is the tax amount. You multiply the tax amount by the taxable income, right? So that means the math will be, it'll be 49,325 times 3.7%, but you got to change 3.7% into a decimal. So that's going to be 0.037. I put the zero in front because like decimal calculators do that, right? So you're basically multiplying 49,000 and some change by 0 
right? That's going to give you an amount of 1825 and 3 cents. So 1825, right? So that's the amount of taxes that you will have to pay at the end of the year um, in this state, right? But here's the deal. When you get a job, what the, what the government does is they'll take it out per pay period, right? So what if you get paid um, weekly? So if you got paid weekly, um, this amount will be broken up into the number of payments and subtracted from this amount, right? So look, there is, there's roughly 52 weeks in a year, right? So to figure out how much you would take from, I mean, to figure out, um, to break this down into 52 weeks, right? You would just divide this amount by the number of weeks, right? When you divide this by the number of weeks, so that's 18, 1825 three cent, right? You really just write it to the nearest whole dollar. So it'd be just 18, 1825 times, let me erase this, oh, three. 1825 times um, 50, divided by, I'm sorry, divided by 52. That's going to give you around $35, right? So out of every weekly check, every check that you get, every check that you get uh, for this year when you make this amount of money, well, when you make this amount of money, you'll subtract $35 from your check, right? From whatever your what your check is, $35 is going to be your state tax. Now, if you got paid bi-weekly or bi-monthly, you got paid um, every other week, right? It wouldn't be 52, it would be half of that, so which is 26, right? So you get, they would, they would, there's 26 payments. Right, 26 payments where you're gonna break this amount down, right? So 1825 divided by 26 give you around $70. And so that means that they're gonna take um, $70 from your check. State taxes would be $70 from your check. And so um, that's pretty much it. So the way state taxes work is, um, depending on the state, in many states, right? They give you a flat tax rate. So flat tax rate, and that flat tax that flat tax rate is is subtracted from the taxable income um, to give you your state income tax, right? Um, and and the beautiful thing about it is many times or most of the times this amount this this amount here is accurate enough to at the end of the year when it's time to file your taxes you don't owe anything. In fact, they owe you, right? So, but like that's the way the state tax works. Right, you find your taxable. You look at your deductions, look at your gross amount. Right, consider your deductions, your status. Like if you weren't married, there's a different deduction. If you're single, it's like a seventeen. So for single people, is one thousand seven hundred and fifty. And this is not like super super accurate. This is an example, right? So if you file your taxes as a single individual, this is the this is the deducted amount. Right. If you file as a married person, that's the deducted amount. The number of kids determines the uh, the other additional deductions. Now that may have changed in twenty twenty one because of, of the government, but you take these deductions, these personal exemptions, right, and subtract them from your gross to get your taxable income. All right, I'm just repeating myself now. Taxable income. Then you multiply the taxable income by the state tax rate and you'll have the amount of income taxes you have to pay, right? I hope this has been official to you. And if you have any more questions, comment below. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Mr. Do The Math, out. I hope y'all like one and forward.